Good evening, everyone. I'm meteorologist Katie McNeil. You've now clicked on the Weather Now link, and let's jump right into it. Taking a look right now outside in East Providence, kind of a foggy view here as heavier rain has started to move through the area in the past half an hour or so. Uh, but we're just going to be starting to see the heaviest of the rain in the next couple of hours here. We are in a weather alert due to advisories and watches that are in place associated with the system we're tracking overnight tonight. First one is a coastal flood advisory. Now as we head towards the high tide at 830 in the morning, we could see some minor uh, water inundation, which basically means the water levels with the gusty winds and heavy rain uh, could basically spill over into coastal areas here, coastal property areas, and with that could be seeing some impassable roadways down towards the coast in areas uh, on the coastline as we head towards the start of your day on Sunday. We also have a wind advisory, could see some gusts as high as 50 to 55 miles an hour, especially down towards the coast and offshore as well. And this will be in place until 10 a.m. Sunday morning. Areas farther inland are not expected to see as high of wind gusts as what we're tracking down towards the coast. We also have a flood watch in place. The areas in green, the areas in red are the river flood warnings that we've been tracking here. Those have been in place for the past several days with all the rain that we've had this past week and with the levels already uh, above flood stage, the rain that we're seeing tonight certainly isn't going to help matters. So if you're living in or around these river areas, something to be mindful of, especially the problem spots we've seen low lying areas around these rivers in the past, especially the Patuxet. Um, and with that, we have the flood watch in the areas in green uh, for the possibility for some minor street flooding, ponding, um, on the roadways, highways, as well as uh, visibility issues when driving. So hazardous road conditions with that minor flooding risk, poor drainage areas as well could be dealing with these issues as we head towards the start of your day on Sunday. The main time frame, though, as I mentioned, is going to be overnight tonight. So between midnight, say, and around 3, 4 in the morning, uh, conditions will be at their worst. By around 5, 6 in the morning, conditions should start to improve. Temperatures right now actually slowly climbing. They'll continue to rise into the upper 40s as we head towards Sunday morning here. Right now, around 40 degrees across the area. Your wind gusts starting to pick up slowly but surely here, especially as these heavier bands of rain move through. We're already seeing wind gusts offshore Block Island almost 40 miles an hour, and these gusts are going to continue to pick up as we head towards the overnight. Your satellite and radar here, you can see these yellows, oranges, and reds now starting to head closer to our immediate area with the wind and the rain picking up. And these conditions will continue to deter deteriorate with the worst of the rain and wind going to be picking up around 1130 midnight tonight and continuing until around 4 in the morning here. So let's take a look. So here's 1.30 in the morning. You're seeing some of these heavier bands of rain moving through already by around 6.30 some lingering showers but already looking a lot drier and as we head towards uh, the late hours on sunday morning much drier those conditions uh improving a lot here and we're going to be seeing some peaks of sunshine as the clouds clear up a little bit as we head towards the afternoon highs will be right around 50 degrees clouds will increase a little bit though as we head towards the evening as i'm tracking the chance for some passing brief showers but it'll be a mainly dry day especially after what we're seeing overnight tonight with this system and then much drier as we head towards monday not tracking any chances for rain again until potentially next weekend so your Sunday morning here, it's going to be kind of a blustery day, even though we'll be a lot drier. Uh, clouds will linger on during the early hours in the morning, but then decreasing as we head towards around noontime or the afternoon here with some peaks of sunshine. It'll be breezy and mild with those highs right around 50 degrees. So overall, a mainly dry day, although we are tracking the chance for that uh, later in the evening uh, shower potentially. But It'll be sunny an hour later tomorrow as the time change happening overnight tonight. Make sure to uh, spring forward, set those clocks an hour forward. So unfortunately, we'll be losing an hour of sleep. But by tomorrow evening, the sunset will, I believe, be around 645. So we'll be getting that extra hour of daylight here. And so as far as tonight goes, we've got to get through the worst of this rain and wind. Uh, if you have any loose 
uh, items in your yard, things like that with the weather a little bit nicer, people may be putting out some yard furniture, something to secure or tie down uh, would do so at this time if you haven't already. And if you are heading out overnight tonight, visibility on the roadways as well as flooding issues are expected to be a risk as we head towards Sunday morning. And as always, you can get your full forecast anytime at WPRI.com.